Peace and black power. I'll be respectful and offer my condolences to the families of the victims of the slain in a Colorado mass shooting. I'm going to also wish a speedy recovery to those victims that were injured, some 58 people. But I'm going to also point out the fact that I am incensed over the disparity that I see in the policing that occurs in white communities and the policing that occurs in black communities, where you have a young 18 year old black child suspected of having a weapon is gunned down in his own bathroom murdered in his own bathroom because he is suspected of having a weapon mind you he ain't shot nobody he ain't fired a shot they haven't even seen a weapon. They just suspect that he might have a weapon. And he is shot down in his own bathroom. Here you have a young man out celebrating a transitional period in his life full of promise and looking toward the future. And he's shot 50 times. Sean Bell. Here you have a young man on his way home from work after an exhausting day reaches for a wallet and is shot 43 times Amadou Diallo or a young man lying face down on a train platform handcuffed behind his back and is shot in the back by the person who just handcuffed him. Oscar Gray and at the same time here you have a James Holmes a clearly armed and extremely dangerous mass murderer and he's taken into custody without a scratch are you for real I mean, is this for real? What the hell are you trying to say, law enforcement agencies, that if you have a water gun and you're black, you will be shot down, but if you have four guns and 6,000 rounds of ammunition and you just killed 12 people and wounded 58 other people, if you're white, you will be treated with respect and dignity and taken into custody without a scratch? How do you encourage this sort of behavior? The guy who shot Gabby Giffords in the head in Arizona was taken into custody without a scratch despite the fact that he just killed six people and wounded several others. Despite the fact that he was armed and extremely dangerous, he was taken into custody without a scratch, showed up in court smiling. How do you account for the fact that law enforcement response time was said to be 90 seconds, one and a half minutes to that movie theater massacre and not one law enforcement official fired a shot? How do you account for that? How do you account for that? What the hell is really going on? Is this some sort of sick psychodrama that we see playing out that perhaps the NRA has its hands in in order to discourage any discussion about gun control? Now, personally, I don't give a damn about gun control. I'm just asking a question. What the hell is really going on? How is it that this guy's taken into custody without a scratch and he just shot 70 people? That's my question. See, news agencies are saying that this guy's sick. He, he, he's, he's, he's a psycho. He's, he's insane. 
I think he's just suffering from WPD. That's white personality disorder. Now, I know white people don't want to admit that they have WPD running rampant amongst them, but the evidence is clear. Only white people go to school with guns and try to kill everybody. Only white people go postal. That's WPD, white personality disorder. Those white people with white personality disorder pull out guns and try to kill everybody. So while you are arguing to keep the guns in the hands of people, and you say law-abiding people, well, these people are law-abiding until they go crazy. Then they're not law-abiding, they're not life-respecting. How about the fact that you want to condemn women for having an abortion, you say that there's a right to life. Didn't those people in that movie theater have a right to life? Now, see, that to me is a right to life. A uh, impregnated female doesn't have a, another life in her until it grows into a baby. But those people in that movie theater watching Batman, they had a right to life. They were here. But y'all don't see those. Y'all don't see that right to life. Strange. White personality disorder. That's my contribution to the lexicon. This is Brother Larry. I'm just asking a question. How come that guy didn't get scratched? Law enforcement. 